不能睡觉呢。大尊贤。Finally, I can now show the world my true worth was the last words Elliot wrote, the last few in his manifesto that he sent to dozens of people, friends, therapists, and his family, before going on a rampage, killing six and injuring 14 near the University of California, Santa Barbara, in Isla Vista, California. Elliot first, during his attack, his attack actually started earlier in the day before it happened hours later. He stabbed his three roommates to death before his rampage actually began hours later. After he stabbed the three young men, he went for a vanilla latte at Starbucks. And then at around 9 o'clock at night, few minutes before he went on his killing spree and killing three others and wounding over a dozen more he emails a dozen two dozen people friends family and a few therapists his 137 page manifesto first Elliot knocked at the door of Alpha Phi sorority house for several minutes he eventually stopped and shot three Tri-Delta girls, killing two of them and injuring one. Elliot wasn't done yet. Next, he went to the Isla Vista Deli Mart. In the deli, he killed his final victim, a man, buying something in the deli. Even though Elliot wasn't done with his rampage, no one else would die. He then sped around Isla Vista, shooting randomly at people. He eventually hit a bicyclist and lost control of his car and crashed. Knowing that there was no way out of this, he shot himself. And that's when the rampage ended. It lasted less than 10 minutes. The hashtag YesAllWomen began trending on Twitter after the attack and women came forward about assault. As you can guess, Elliot's funeral wasn't much, but a few family members showed up. After his body was done being autopsied, it was promptly cremated. Peter Roger, Elliot Roger's father, met with one of the fathers of the victims. Christopher Michaels Martinez was the kid 20 years old, was shot and killed at the Isla Vista Deli Mart during the rampage. Instead of being angry at Peter, Richard Richard Martinez showed gratitude toward Peter for speaking out. It is a sad reality that with these kinds of cases there's always victims. And in this case, multiple victims, six to be exact. Their names are as follows. Veronica Weiss, Katie Cooper, Christopher Martinez. The three men you are seeing on the bottom were stabbed to death in Roger's apartment. Their names are as follows. George Chen, Wainhan Wang, and Chen Yan Hong. Over a dozen more were injured by shooting and vehicle ramming. 